Hi everyone, uh, my name is Prune and I'm going to present probabilistic verb consistency for weekly supervised semantic correspondences. This is a joint work with Martin Denelian, Fisher Yu and Luke Van Gu, and we're all from the computer vision lab of ETH Zurich. So in this work we tackle the problem of dense correspondence estimation for the semantic task. The images depict different instances of the same object class and therefore show drastic appearance changes in interclass deformations. In the dense setting, we want to find a match for every pixel of each image. So how do we estimate dense matches? In a typical semantic matching architecture, the first step is to extract features from the image pairs. These features are then correlated using the feature correlation layer, which produces a cost volume. The cost volume is then post-processed and it is finally converted to a probabilistic mapping by simply applying the softmax operation over the channel dimension. Given a position x in frame j, the probabilistic mapping at x encodes the entire conditional probability distribution of where x is mapped in image i. During inference, matches are obtained as the argmax of the probabilistic mapping for each pixel of the images. So how do we train such architecture? In the supervised case, it is typically trained with a cross-entropy loss, which enforces the estimated probabilistic mapping to be equal to the ground truth one. But the issue is in the semantic matching task, it is very hard, if not impossible, to get ground truth correspondences. So in this work, we introduce probabilistic VARP consistency, a weekly supervised learning objective for probabilistic mappings. Now let's dive into the method. We start from a pair of matching images that represent the same object class. The transformation between the pair is unknown during training, though. We create a third image I' prime by generating a synthetic transformation MW. As a result, the probabilistic mapping relating I' prime to I is known by construction. From this image triplet, we can derive a constraint which says that we should obtain the same probabilistic mapping by going through I' prime to I here, which is determined by PW, or by taking the detour through image J. For a particular pixel of I', prime, the resulting probabilistic distribution is obtained by marginalizing over the intermediate paths that link the pixel in I' prime to pixels in I through J. The loss is then obtained as the cross-entropy between this composition and the known probabilistic mapping corresponding to PW. Nevertheless, this constraint is only valid in regions of I' prime that are visible in both I and J, so basically in non-occluded object regions like in these regions. But the issue is in the weakly supervised setting, we do not know where the objects are. And if we enforce the loss on all pixels of I', prime, it would confuse the network by enforcing matches in non-matching regions like in the background here. So we propose two solutions. We estimate a visibility mask V and only apply the loss in V. We also explicitly model occlusions and non-matching regions into a probabilistic mapping by predicting the probability of a pixel to be occluded or unmatched in one image, given that it is visible in the other. To supervise this unmatched state, we introduce an additional loss. We add an image A, depicting a different semantic content than the triplet. We then supervise the unmatched state by guiding the mode of the distribution between A and I' prime to be in the unmatched state for all pixels of the images. Basically, the aim of this is to encourage background and occluded object region in the triplet, depicting the same object class, like here, to be predicted as unmatchable. We train two networks by replacing the original weekly supervised network losses with our probabilistic VARP consistency objective. We evaluate the baseline and our PVARPC networks on four different benchmarks. On all benchmarks, our approach outperforms the baselines and obtains state-of-the-art results overall. Here, we show some example of the matches obtained by the baseline and our PRIPC and CNET. The code is available. Thank you.